Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm gonna be sharing my top five favorite lip products. I honestly forgot this whole little series that I was trying to do where I was sharing my top five favorite concealers, bronzers, foundations, and I needed some new content. So I was like, why don't I continue with that? And I really wanna do a brow products video, but like some of the products are repetitive and I don't really have five, I have maybe like three or four. And it's pretty much just like my whole brow routine. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Anyways, we're gonna get into my top five favorite lip products. Glosses, I think they all are. So let's get started. I only have Chapstick on right now, which I really like this one, or a lip balm is called, from Dion Dionys. And it's a goat milk vanilla bean. It's really nice and it's lasted me a while. And there's still a lot left so i really like that oh man it's stuck now i think this might be from ulta i'm not sure but i really like this first favorite product is not drugstore this is the only one that's more of a higher end and it's fenty glow by fenty beauty which it's now sold at ulta so i'm so excited ulta's point system to me is a lot better than sephora even though i worked at sephora i've always preferred ulta gloss bomb i have two of them i also have fussy which is pink color but you can tell by the usage um who i prefer i have a couple more i think i have diamond milk but i've never i haven't used it yet it's just been stashed away in my drawer because i like to get through some products before having so many open but this one's lasted me a while the main reason is because i typically wear a mask a lot of the time and i just hate to waste a product like this that's a little bit more expensive that no one's gonna see mainly the times i wear this is when i'm filming like i said all i have is my lip balm on so i'm just gonna put this right on top but this is just such a nice consistency it's not sticky and i just love it so much the color is beautiful it's almost to me it looks like my lip color just glossed and I'm obsessed. With any lip product, you can obviously do more than just put this on. You can put a lip liner with it. You can put a regular lipstick on and then put this on top of it. But for me, I've always worn it just like this. I might've done a liner in the past just to make it look a little bit nicer. This is what it looks like. I think it's so pretty. And this for me is like the perfect amount of color. I mean, I do have a couple more that have a little bit more of a pigment but I love this natural color. I think this can be used for any type of occasion. It just looks beautiful. Next, I have Makeup Revolution. This is the Pout Bomb. This is just a plumping lip gloss. So this is definitely a thicker type of gloss. You can see there's a little bit more color. Is that an airplane outside? It's so annoying. Got some birds outside. I got all the sounds outside today for you guys. I love this. This is usually the darkest that I will go for a gloss. I used to wear a couple years ago and not a couple years ago, it was like five years ago when Kylie came out with her lip kits. I used to wear this one dark purple one she had. It does like a minty type of smell. As for the plumping part of it, it doesn't burn. There's a slight little coolness I feel on my lips, but it doesn't burn as for the Too Faced lip injection where that feels like your lips are falling off. But this, not bad at all. My lips feel fine, just a little cool, super pretty. I think every single one of these lip products that I'm going to mention do come in different colors. I usually like to go for more of a dark, even though I don't like the darkest shades, I like more so the color of my lips or a little bit darker. But this is just kind of random. My mom had bought me this one from NYX. This is the This Is Milky Gloss, which I've been meaning to pick up or I might have picked up a darker one. As you can see, it's a really bubblegum pinky color, which I never go for these colors and it's not her fault. She was just trying to buy me something. I think I like the consistency of this but i don't like the color so that's why i'm not including it in my favorites i definitely want to try other shades from that because i think it would look really nice next i have the maybelline lifter gloss and this is just the shade ice it's kind of a clear gloss it smells pretty nice even though it does have kind of like a blush nude pink color i don't really think it's that noticeable on my lips and more so it just kind of looks just glossy and then going back to nyx i do have one that i actually like from them the butter gloss these have been around for so long but honestly it's probably one of their best products i have to say because it kind of just goes on like butter smooth like butter the shade is a little similar to that makeup revolution one but it's not as thick as that one you could see when i think when i was putting that one on it was just more of a thicker formula. This one is really smooth and just kind of glides on. So I love it. These again are also another one that has tons of colors that you can pick. You might be noticing a pattern. It's either clear gloss or a shade like this. You know why I like these types of colors? 
it's not so much that i want to say i'm lazy i don't think it's that i just think they're more convenient if you're out eating or something because obviously most glosses aren't gonna last if you want to do like a matte lipstick they typically do last when you're eating and stuff but i just like something that's convenient to reapply so that's why i always love a gloss because i don't want to have to reline my lips and put my lipstick back on that's why i always go for clear gloss because there's not much to fix all you have to do is just swipe it back on so this last one is going to be a tie between this and fenty glow but i always mention this any chance that i get the essence shine 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 lip gloss this, I don't know, there's no other clear gloss out there that can touch this, in my opinion. I'm sorry, okay? They came out with a newer version. I bought that. I haven't tried it yet because, again, I like to kind of finish products before I open new ones. From my understanding, it's just this, but it's maybe more shinier or something. Shine Extreme. I don't really know what it's called, but I have it somewhere. I know I showed it in a video before, but this one is so pretty. I am obsessed. It's like my lips are like glass or something. Super glossy. This is just the shade behind the scenes, just a clear gloss. It smells like berries. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it smells like berries, like raspberries. I mean, I feel like all these lip glosses you can wear anywhere. I always like to wear a clear gloss to the gym. I don't want my lips to be dry when I'm like exercising, so they're looking pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorite lip glosses. Let me know if you have tried any of these or if you have any recommendations, feel free to comment. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.